Hello everyone, Nick Meister back again with another episode of Let's Play L.A. Noir. And, uh, I don't quite remember which stage I was on. And that also means that I don't have uh, all the right answers uh, memorized. I'll pop open a can of seltzer there. Um... But that's okay. I'm I'm gonna use my uh, deductive reasoning skills as a uh, detective, and uh, I'm gonna figure this whole thing out. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure the last one we did was Consul's car. So today we're doing a marriage made in heaven. I don't remember anything about this stage. <laughs> uh, so that's a good sign right there. Well, let's get started. I just spilled some water myself. It's okay, it's just water. <clears throat> Wonder if they serve water at the Blue Room Jazz Club, huh? Ooh. Sounds, uh... Nefarious. About so I bet something bad's about to happen. That's exactly what you should do when you run someone over. All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit-and-run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. All right, I used I'm to... I'm telling you, it'll never stick, and you'll valet get... Valet at a place called Jay's Cafe. Maybe it's like the same thing, huh? Hey... I gave his wife a tap. I said all's fair in love and war. Okay. Always so many people with things to say. I know someone in the thread was... Uh, they mentioned how they felt the, the open world aspect of this game was useless because there's... Not really anything to do in it, for the most part. I mean, you got street crimes, and you got, um... You know, I don't feel like taking that car. I'm gonna take a black and white. You got street crimes, you got... Excuse me, you got, uh... What else you got? I don't wipe the smile off their face. <laughs> yeah, he ain't smiling now, is he? Die! They were asking for it. <laughs> nice. Oh man. Okay, douchebag. Pick up your hat. Let's go. Come on. Hey, you're not gonna. You're not gonna wear your hat. Right. So. What was I saying? Right. There's not much to do in the open world. It is kind of useless. Um. But. Looks like the DA is yeah, gonna press it. charges. Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes convictions. I'll convince him to let it go. <laughs> How you do that? I'll give him something better. Right, so if you don't remember, uh, Anna Rodriguez was the... either girlfriend or wife of... that guy in the last mission. The one who was racing around his car. To kill these people. Oh, damn it! I hate it when that happens. Wait, it's 4.36 a.m.? Did we really come into work that early? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, seriously, like, who comes into work at 4.30 in the morning? That does not make any sense at all. It's completely... Detectives! Over what? here! Oh, it's fucking early, man. Cole Phelps, <clears throat> traffic. What have we got? Thick as a white male named Lester Patterson. Walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar. Her name is Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now, we're going to take a look around. <laughs> Our partner here looks like he's uh, really eager to go meet that lady, but first, we got to look at the stiff. 
Oh, here's a nice hat. I think our partner would appreciate this. Doesn't appear to be any lice in there or anything. It's a very clean hat. It's very nice. Nice color. Probably... Probably matches suit, I guess. I don't know. Um, okay. Phelps, you should take a look at the body. Poor guy didn't stand a chance. All right, I'll do just that. I ended that. on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. Is that what actually happened in the cutscene? I don't remember. All right. Hmm. California Fire and Life. Hmm. Okay, so... Addison has life insurance. Basically, his life insurance has recently been upped, I guess. You know, so... Instead of a payout of 10 grand, it would be paid out of 16 grand if he were killed in an unfortunate accident. Alright, I didn't really tell you to look at that, but okay. Okay, yep. Yep, that is a hand. Alright. I meant to look down here. Has he got anything else? Maybe a wallet? Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. We can notify next of kin. Back in the 1940s, before they had uh, touch screens, if you wanted to look at something really close, you had to double tap on it. Alright. That sure is money. Hey, he's got a his uh his wallet's uh, monogram there, LP, Lester Patterson. Hm. I wonder if uh, is there anything there? No. I wonder if uh, if he had that custom made or did he just like More look through a rack and happen to find one that had an LP action. on it? I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Yeah, you fucking idiot. Oh, fun fact. Um, the Rolls Royce, with its flying lady, actually has a, uh, a feature where... If it uh, if it hits something with enough force, the the flying lady will pull it down into the hood, feet. like super fast. So that way, you don't stab a guy if you hit him with your car. Hmm. More blood. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. Yep. And here are the tire tracks. Burning rubber. So the driver managed to break before the impact. That's what it looks like. Hmm. Anything else to look at over here? I don't think so. Well, you know, there is one more thing to look for. A lot of people... Hey, buddy, there's a hat over there I think you should take a look at. Is he going to take a look at that hat? Oh, I thought I was going to look at the hat. That would have been funny. Careful where you're stepping. Oh, go fuck yourself. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. I never heard him say that before. That's weird. <laughs> okay, so anyway, there's there are things that a lot of people miss the first time they play this mission. Or this case, I should say. And is this thing over here. Ooh. For some reason, we got to zoom in on it. Hold on a second. Okay, there we go. A knife covered in blood. Could be a steak <laughs> knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. Yeah. That's a very important clue that will come up later on. This guy's too fucking stupid to realize it, but that's okay. You know, because a lot of a lot of first-time players miss it. Um, and actually, the game the game tells you to go back and look for more evidence, so you'll find it either way. It's all yours, detective. Thank you. 
Miss Perry? Yes. Oh, Katie Perry, I'm I Detective love your Phelps. videos. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. How's that song go? Uh, something dark horse, play with magic. You wanna something like that. Um Huh, can't can't ask her about her upcoming album. That's too bad. Let's see. Huh. You get some work done, you your chest seems smaller. Anyway. Aren't you at least gonna try to catch the man that did this? <laughs> what? How do you know it was a man, lady? You you holding out on me or something? Aren't you at least gonna try to all catch right, the man right. that let's, did this? Let's, let's uh I'm clicking, it's not letting me do anything. Okay, there we go. Can you tell us what happened? He wouldn't let me ask her. Well, I uh, came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Okay. And it pays not to be too paranoid in these early missions because people tend to be a little more truthful. There we go. And what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Yeah, pretty simple so far. It's easy to fuck up with her, because I'm a paranoid person. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. A dark red Lincoln Continental, okay. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three, C, eight. Okay, shouldn't be too hard. Argument overheard. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Okay, so she's obviously fucking lying. Doing that whole eye roll thing. I doubt you're telling the truth. Why are you holding out on us, You hussy. I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. Yeah. I'm trying to find work as an actress, and things are pretty difficult. Cough it up, Maybe sister. We don't have all night, lady. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Miss Perry. Embarrassing, huh? Your information is like his very penis helpful. size. You can go now. I think I read that in a little really book I picked so? up in the last mission I did. I hope you find that driver and put him away. Yeah, that guy with the gloves was everywhere. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. <laughs> you work the rest of the room. This guy thinks he's pretty fucking funny. It's not as funny as I am, though. Hold on a second. I really would like to talk to this douchebag, but I'll look at the newspaper first. Find out what's going on in the world. Hmm. 47. Courtney! Come in. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatoriums. We can reveal the root of the problem. The root. Then we have a chance to hit the root of the problem. And until then, I think you just need some speech it. therapy, doctor. Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. You fucking liar. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. Mm. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. <laughs> many things that appear to be legal actually aren't, if you look at the bylaws. <clears throat> okay, so I guess we're starting to learn now that Dr. Harlan J. Fontaine isn't exactly on the up and up. Hmm. 
Don't know what that has to do with Cole Phelps, but uh, we'll be keeping an eye on his exploits. Let's talk to this guy. He's a real smart ass. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Shave that fucking they mustache. Start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. Hmm. Well, I guess he knows Lorna a little better than he'd like to admit. Let's try to find out more. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Alright, well, he's clearly fucking lying. Because he looks like he needs to take a shit or something. I know, that's the face I make. Uh, but let's take a look at our notebooks. I'm not really sure if it's doubt or lie. Hmm. Red Continental. Insurance. Argument overheard. Um... Hold on a second. Okay, so... There was a big argument going on. And he probably heard it, because he's the fucking bartender. And he knows the guy's wife. So, I'm going to accuse him of lying and see what Cole says. If he accuses him of working with the Jews, then we know it's wrong. Why are you lying, Lynch? <clears throat> what are you covering up? Is that the best you've got? You expecting me to confess to being the driver? Okay, maybe not. Um, Looks like I was mistaken. Maybe it's just doubt. So yes! What doing outside? Yes! It's against licensing regulations okay. to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Alright. It can be really frustrating sometimes with this fucking game. Alright. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or... He was. Okay, so... I mean... I don't really see how that could be a lie. I'm assuming that's the truth. Okay, Not good. one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but... Not my kind of special. Yeah, right. With that fucking was mustache, I bet well. you were all over him. No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. So what was she interested in? Dudley? Dudley Lynch. Huh. Isn't that a pro wrestler or some shit? A witness overheard an argument. Yeah, Katy Perry. Lester she wouldn't lie. She's a pop star. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Alright, hold on a second. I'm not even sure what we're supposed to make of that. <clears throat> okay. A witness overheard an argument? Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like dirty. Okay, so... Um, hold on a second. Alright, I'm just gonna hit doubt again. Because I know he's hiding something, but I think I'm gonna be really fucking pissed off. Oh, Why yes, was Lorna Patterson in nice. such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Leroy? Who's Lorna Leroy? and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy? Leroy Sabo? The owner? <clears throat> Joint business venture. Oh, kind of like what that Doobie Brother guy had going on. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Who knows? I just served the drinks. Alright, well he's obviously fucking lying. So... But, I wonder if... Hold on a second. I know I'm taking longer this thing than I thought I would, but... You know, I think this is going to be an important piece of evidence, but not for this guy. I mean, there's no reason why he would know about that. I mean, he really is just a hired help. I'm going to hit doubt again, and if it's wrong, I'm going to be pissed off at this game. Bartenders hear oh. all sorts of things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. 
He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm gonna need you to sign a statement with the patrol. And say hi to Kane sure, for me. No problem. I think I shot him in the face a while back. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Sounds like you're a fan of the love tap too, buddy. Let's get the... Oh, wait. We gotta talk on the phone first. Get, excuse me. Get the fuck out of my way. Thanks. <laughs> wait, what? Oh, here it is. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, Detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thanks. Looks like we caught a break <laughs> on this one. Okay. Would you get something on your suit? That guy does not look like he's in a good way. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this guy before either. Hold on a second. I'm trying to get a close look at this guy. He looks like a guy who's sitting next to him on the train every other day. Ugh, kind of creepy. Alright, so... Wow, the body still hasn't been picked up yet, huh? Alright. Well, let's take this baby. Okay, so... Well, let's take that car. No big deal. Okay. I would have just. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Let's find this motherfucker that hit the guy first. Because even though we found the knife at the scene, I'm still not entirely sure that this whole thing is, uh, you know, foul play. I think it might just be a tragic accident. Ah, there's the red, the red Lincoln. Not really dark red though. It's more like a. Yeah, Cole Phelps is thinking about things. Oh, oh wow, they just waited, huh? I think if we went to the Patterson residence first. Uh... That son of a bitch right there. William Shelton? Come back? Yes. I don't remember. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. <laughs> Right. That coward thinks he can run from everything. Let's get this motherfucker. Wow. Oh, damn it. Smooth move, Nick Meister. Smooth move. Oh, damn it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, not again. Oh, come on, man. Oh, did I let him get away? <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I think he got away. I don't see him on the map anymore. Oh, no, there he is. That was a close one. No wonder he killed someone driving like this. Don't let that asshole get away. You're welcome, citizen. Just doing my job. Man, I'm not a very good driver today. Well, I haven't played this game in a couple of weeks, so... Wow. Yeah. Nice. 
<laughs> die, motherfucker, die! The station. Go on, okay. get after I'll it! <laughs> Sweet. Now to execute Hold you, right there, motherfucker! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll... I'll cut ahead until we can talk to this guy. Okay, I won't make you watch him play it again. Uh, see you in a second. Let's take this guy out. Don't let that asshole get away. All right, I caught him even sooner oh, this time. I give up. That's it. Cuff him and we're done. Okay, so I even let me aim my gun give this it time. Up. <laughs> it was like, no way, Nick Meister. We're not letting you execute this guy this time. Out, Shelton. I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front He's of me. He's got glasses and He came out of nowhere. Pens. There's nothing and I can do about it. He's a Why super nerd. Stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is going to love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. A woman and a man, huh? Leave the coroner and the paperwork. Procedure can wait. We should probably go speak to the wife and let her know what's happening. Hmm. Okay. You become all hard at the prospect of paperwork, don't you? You know, um, before we were under the impression that it was really just the husband and wife arguing, but apparently someone else was there too. Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? Stop smoking that weed and get over here. <clears throat> Okay. So the wife was there when it happened, but then left the scene. You're right. That's pretty unusual behavior. She could be in shock. We saw some people do some strange things in the war after their buddies got here. Maybe. Maybe she doesn't give a fuck. According to the patrons, her old man was a piece of work. You don't think, Phelps, the guy was run over. So it worked out well for this broad. So what? Maybe she deserved to catch a break. KTI is a member of the American Century. All right, let's head in here. For a second there, I forgot I was playing a game. <laughs> yes? Hello? Mrs. Patterson. Nice hair, lady. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? <laughs> okay, so the music isn't playing, so we're not supposed to... What? Two? Look at that! Steak, baked potato, broccoli. Sitting there, waiting to be eaten. It's the middle of the day. Who eats a steak dinner in the middle of the day? It doesn't make any sense. Lady, you're going to have to come downtown. Can you tell me what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. Three years ago. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here, I beg I... your pardon? You're going to have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He 
turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. <laughs> yeah, You really expect good. me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. It's worse right, than Lester psychomantis. No, I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? Controller. I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. All right. Got a lot of shit to ask this lady. She looks like a fucking liar. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. Okay. Obviously, she's fucking lying. Um, but is there any evidence to prove that she's lying? I don't think there is. Hmm. See, that's the thing about this game. Okay, let's let's see what happens when we accuse her of lying. You're lying, Lorna. You pushed him in front of the car. If you think you can prove that, I suggest you arrest me now. Okay, well, we don't have any evidence that... Nothing personal. I'm just doing my she job. She pushed him. You understand that. So, let's just say doubt? Okay. You expect me to believe that, Lorna. It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. Nature of the argument. You were arguing in the bar what about tornadoes, sidewalk? hurricanes, we earthquakes, that kind of thing. You know, nature. So what? All right. Sorry, I missed what the fuck she was saying. Hold on a second. We were always arguing. So what? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Well, do we have any evidence of that? I'm sorry I'm, if I'm taking a long time, but I kind of just want to go through the, you know, might have been this shit here, actually. Might have been the insurance letter. Let's let's accuse her of lying again, see what happens. Don't lie to me. Something was different this time. <laughs> You're clutching at straws. All right, um, I'm just going to, hold on a second. Lunch, oh, Lynch's statement. Okay, well, there's that. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? I know you guys can't tell me, but... Shit. Um, fuck. You know, I'm gonna go with the insurance letter. Maybe it's the wrong thing, but... Ah! Damn it! The arguments are never any different. <sighs> okay. All right. All right. We can we can recover from this. The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. Okay. Now we're supposed to use the insurance letter. You're being economical with the truth, Lorna. You want to back that up, little man? Little man. I'll have you know I'm five foot seven, in my shoes. Just kidding. I'm like five foot eight. Um. You boom. Premium on Lester's Elbow life from the insurance. top rope, motherfucker. GI insurance policies have a ten thousand dollar payout. It was Leroy's idea. Lester lived on the edge. He was always getting into fights, crap games, peanut all you name it. Peeing on Turns people's knuckles. Turns out it was good advice. It speaks to motive and premeditation, Lorna. You're forgetting the hit and run detective. You and Mr. Sabo. Have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now, if you could both just leave. We're leaving, ma'am. Sorry for your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. Okay. So, uh... Hold on a second. I need to use the motherfucking phone. Um, where is the fucking phone? Um... Wait, it, it is in here, isn't it? Okay, there we go. One of the biggest challenges Operator, this game is finding a motherfucking telephone. Putting you through now. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, detective? 
how can I help, Message detective? Just, Ooh, so just one detective from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Ugh. Thanks for your help. What I would give for a fucking smartphone. Text messages. Really? That's what you guys are going to do? You're just going to sit there across from each other? That's weird. Is that what people used to do before the internet? I don't know. I don't remember what I used to do before the internet, seriously. I look back at my life and I... You're behind the wheel. ...see how much time I used to have... All right. Where ...when I was to? a kid. But I don't remember how I spent any of it. It's kind of sad, really. Stop fucking beeping or I'll shoot you in the face. Like I did that other guy. <laughs> there's Chinatown, but you know, there's not really any Chinatown missions. It's kind of disappointing. <laughs> Going to the morgue and have a good time. Yeah, Gonna nice fill up some bodies. Rehab is for quitters. Rehab is for quitters. Yeah. We well, can put the sense. driver in front of a judge That's in a less than a week. Rehab is for quitters. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached the Oh my heart. god, he's an ant? You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. Mm. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. We found a knife in the alleyway. Where is it now? Was it bagged? By Patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. Murder one. We were right there and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. We have the knife, we have the coroner's report, and I bet we could roll Sabo as a witness. Let's bring her in. There are three times what three makes this guy think Sabo is the one who did the stabbing in the first time. place? All right, let's take the, uh, the Hurris. You know the way, you can drive. <laughs> Do we know where we're going? <laughs> Do we know where we're going? I already forgot, because I'm a fucking retard. <laughs> What are you laughing about, you jerk off? <clears throat> I'm just gonna teleport there. The Brown Derby. The hottest hipster spot in town. Alright, we're back and we're ready to to do some shit. Open the fuck up! We spoke to the coroner, Mrs. Patterson. He confirmed your husband's This is the beginning death. of a porno. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. Yeah, come on downtown. It wasn't me. It was Leroy's idea. Leroy stabbed him. I had nothing to do with it. Where is Leroy now? He's in the bedroom. You're very good, Lorna. Put the gun down, Leroy. If you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand jury. Nice of you to give me up, sweetheart. All that whispering in my ear telling me how he had to get rid of him. How good it could be, all the money we could claim, all that planning, how to get him into the street, how to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, Leroy, all shut the up. Banks is covered, baby. I have nothing to do, do with it. Do you think I'm gonna fry for you, He's Lorna? He's a crazy man. Shoot him. Shoot him, for God's sake. It's too late, Sabo. All right. Haha, <laughs> nice. All right, stop running you up. Oh, God damn it. Ah. Stop, stop or I will shoot. Okay, I can't get him there either. Um, thing about the thing about these chasing sections where the guy has a gun is that it always ends with him holding someone up. Oh, oh damn it, Sabo. You know, and then you got to do that whole Call of Duty thing where you got to shoot the guy. You gotta be. Oh, okay. Yeah, there he is. Um. You stay back! I like this one, I don't care. I don't think Cole Phelps cares either. Put the since, weapon you know, down now! She's wearing pink. On your own, goddamn head, <laughs> Oh, man. Me. I, I thought you were dead, lady. I really did. <laughs> when I missed him twice like that? That's insane. I didn't, I didn't know you could get away with that. You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. 
It never gets any easier, Bukowski. I mean, seriously, I like I missed him twice, and he's just like, "Come on, do something! I dare you." <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> so I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first-degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, fellas. Damn right, motherfucker. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and yeah, asking faces questions are until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. Exactly. I like that. That's how I keep win all my matches. I just bump it. I just bump him in the face of my elbow until I get a cut. <sighs> all right, that's it. A marriage made in heaven. I missed one question, but that's okay. I think I ran over a couple of people. Oh, Valoria. Valorous. My bad. Um, okay. Another another visit to Ray's, and you would have seen Leroy was... Per huh. Another visit to Ray's. Hmm. Yeah. You know, I, I don't think I've ever done that before. Maybe... You know, I'm... I'm gonna put that in a bonus for the next, the next recording I do, because I've never done that before, and I want to see if there's a big difference. So, anyway, this is Nick Meister, and this is Let's Play La Noir, and I'll see you guys and gals next time.